Hello, Internet. It has been a minute. It has been a minute. Uh, hi. Welcome to the Let's Play Pentiment. Um, you may have noticed that my co-streamer and delightful purveyor of many voices of the characters in this game, Ankh, is not with us today. She is taking a day's deserved break, and uh, we will miss her, but hope she is resting and recovering, and we will just try to approximate the richness of voice that she has brought to these characters. So thank you, Ankh. Pouring went out for you. I don't even have a LaCroix today. <laughs> I'm down to water. Cheers. Um, hope you all have been doing well. Hey, Professor Claire, welcome in. I am here for the Pentiment. Oh, you are, you have picked a good episode, I think. So, I reviewed the tapes, because I feel like this game has suffered from me not remembering what we learned last week. Um, so we are closing in on our first foray into the court system, I think. We searched for clues. Um, we, oh man, I forgot to put my notes on the right screen again. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Got the old thinker here. Uh, we interviewed most folks. Didn't interview Lucky. It's probably Lucky because we ruled him out as a red herring. Uh, we have murder weapons for most everyone. We recently found a shovel covered in blood. So that's something we have to follow up with. And other than that, I think we're ready to go to the court and see what happens. We had a dream where we kind of did a dry run of everything. I think we're good. Um, I think it's the occult priest. I'm going to go out on a limb. We'll see, though. We'll see. How do I... Okay. Ah, yes. Okay, so that's my zoom out. And then what is my... Okay, so we have two hours left. See at the top there? So I think I just have enough time to either follow up on the bloody shovel or perhaps interview Lucky. But I'm glad you're here, Claire, for the pentiment. Um, it's a lovely game. I, I do believe if I played it in succession, I, I would maybe not have the, the slow brain problems I've been having, but you know. You do what you can. Okay, so the bloody shovel was in the nun's garden. All right, I'm gonna ask Matilda what the hell that was all about. Oh, I miss Ankh. Ankh did all the voices. Oh, no. I'm not even going to be good. Okay, here we go. God bless you, Master Miller. May I ask you some questions, Sister Matilda? You know, Mother Cecilia doesn't like us talking to men unless it's truly necessary. I have to ask you about your goddamn bloody shovel. The garden shovel? I wouldn't say it's mine belongs to the Abbey. I just use it more than the other sisters. There's, there's blood on it. Recently used it to kill baby rabbits in the garden. The other sisters are too squeamish to do it. I didn't clean it because it was going right back into the dirt anyway. But why bring up the shovel? Oh, I understand. No, I didn't use it to kill the Baron. A man is not a rabbit. Thank you for your time, sister. 
God bless you, Master Miller. Okay. That seems legit. Matilda. There she is. I buy it. Sister Matilda claimed that her shovel has blood on it because she uses it to kill rabbits. Totally legit. Where's our occult one? Oops. I think the worst thing about this game is I don't know how to turn the pages of this very important book. Okay. There we go. Okay, so the rod. We discovered that in Gerhardt's grave. I found out about Matilda. Yes, okay. Mother Cecilia acknowledged that Sister Matilda was the nun who Lorenz Rothbogel hurt on his last visit. He tried to seduce her. When she rejected his advances, he beat her. Mother Cecilia had taken, to a her taken her to a hermitage to recover and avoid a scandal. I need to decide what to do with this information. Well, I'm not going to throw her under the bus. No, where is the occult thing? It's a piece of paper on Ferenc's desk that had the imprint of a letter on it. I rubbed the charcoal of the paper to reveal the text. Yes, the blackmail. I can't believe this is how this one ends. The note he wrote must have been a message for a fellow magician to take that up at a later date. I found the burned remnants of a note in Prior Fairing's house. It was unclear what the contents of the note were, but it was written in purple ink with exceptionally fine lettering. Okay, that feels unfinished. I don't really have an alibi for, for Ferenc. He's very, very suspicious. We've got a murder weapon. We've got blackmail. I don't think we need to talk to Lucky, but because I keep saying that, we will do so. My greatest hope is that the game prompts me to find the next steps. Uh, I, I believe I have to testify. I hope they take me right to that via a nice juicy cutscene. Hey, old Otto. Hey, Andres. How was your, uh, how's your dating life? Okay, it's fine. You don't have to tell me. Um, luck, lucky? Lucky. Damn. Can't talk to him right now. Okay, well, there goes that idea. Can't even eat with him. We already did that anyway. Can we eat with the Miller? Hmm. 
Yep, lunchtime. Okay. The baker? I gotta pull up my notes. One second. Be back shortly. What are you doing? Why are you coming in here with all your base jokes? <laughs> uh, welcome in. You think I don't know that meme? That's that's the original meme. Okay, I got my notes up. All right, the baker, the baker, the baker, the baker. Okay, so as a reminder, here are the three clues we have about the red bird, aka the dead baron. The girl, the girl who died, and the innocent with her. Mateens, time of death, chapter, place of death. So this has got to be a pregnant woman who died, right? The girl who died and the innocent with her. I don't know if we explicitly know of a woman who died while pregnant. The only woman that we know who died is the saint from legend. Uh, what's her name? Uh, saint Satya. But that's like ancient history. Hey, thank you so much for those gift subs. That's super nice of you. Thank you so much. Amazing. Um, how can I, how can I rep you? Here, let me link your Twitter. Can I link your Twitter? <laughs> That's for knowing all your base. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, I, I'm not current by any means, but I did see Home Star Runner and all of the Flash cartoons, and I will I will spout lore on that all day. Uh, okay. Let me know if you want me to drop your Twitter link in chat for like sharing the good word of all the cool stuff you're doing. Okay. I <laughs> so appreciate that. Thank you for the subs for knowing all your base. <laughs> Cracks me up. All right, so possibly a dead saint is involved. Matilda's note said, remember what he did, the violence you suffered, the red bird flies, Mateens. So Matilda's just basically like someone's telling her this guy's going to get it and he's an asshole to you. Dana <laughs> did you. Now you has five bucks to join the home the home star me. <laughs> oh my god. Yay, Twitter link plug. Yeah, y'all should check out DD experience. Um there was we we had a um an awesome actual play, Oops All Wizards, a while back with DD Experience, and it was amazing. So just good things all around. Good things all around. Thank you. Remember your husband, Atilia's note, and the pain he carried, like Job. The red bird flies, Mateen's chapter. We don't know Lucky's note. I assume Lucky also had a note, and we don't know uh, Farrakh's note, because Farrakh is suspicious as hell, and he burned it. Oh, thank you so much, OKSDM. Is that better? Thank you for letting me know the mic is a little intense. 
Okay. Yeah, I don't know why. It's very... I feel like I'm using my indoor voice. My mic is just extra today. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm trying to talk over these sheep, I guess. And you are definitely not that guy. You're a very helpful hanger outer and community member, so appreciate that. All right, so bakery might be helpful. Endress, I had lunch with at the Abbey. The Zimmermans, I don't know why that would be helpful. This is basically our last lunch. This is our last chance to find information. Where are the Zimmermans? Who's a Zimmerman? Out with you. There you are. Oh, old Otto. Okay. Um, I don't feel like lunch with old Otto would be very helpful. I'm sure he's delightful. I definitely dug up a grave with his son. That was fun. Hmm. I feel like maybe we just roll the dice on this. Oh, I, I was interested in the forest, folks. Let's see. Gertners, Bowers. Charcoal burners are a total wild card. Like, they're not even from here. They're visiting. They were told to leave. They're either, like, really helpful or just going to drop some lore and be very unhelpful. I'm almost thinking we should talk to Martin's family. I think those might be the Bowers. Because Martin was poking around. We know he robbed the Baron. Maybe he saw something. Oh, there he is. Oops. Um, I did just see him, I believe. Yeah, the Bowers, son of France and Cat. All right, that's it. We've been ignoring them the whole time. Maybe Martin saw something. I'm gonna bank on that. Sorry, old Otto, not today. Johan? Hans? Hetty? Hey, Andres. Do you have dinner plans? You should join us for a meal. I'd like that. Lead the way, Hetty. And please, tell me all the gossip. That's what I like to hear. I'm starving. I hope Hetty... I hope Hetty is a bower. No, okay, well, was expecting to see Martin, but, you know, it's fine. <clears throat> yep. <sighs> I hope Eddie is related to Martin. Sure hope that. I will laugh so hard. been some chaos up at the Abbey, hasn't there, Andreas? Could hear those bells ringing clear across the valley. Sounded like the monks were mustering for war. Somehow I feel like these are just random townspeople. <laughs> Shit, can I check my book now? No, I can't. Oh, God. No, no, no. Okay, my notes, this is Aunt Hattie is Martin's aunt. Shit! Ah, oh, it's his aunt! Damn it, I wanted to eat with Cat and Franz. Damn it, I got distracted by Hetty. 
<laughs> no! Oh, these guys don't know shit. Okay, fine. Ah, oh, the food looks delicious, though. You haven't heard? A man was murdered. <laughs> the Baron Rothvogel, please. Please tell me you know something. Hetty, good riddance. You won't find many in Tassin crying over one dead nobleman. Yeah, tell me about your nephew. I can't believe you haven't heard you. <laughs> Have you had your head in the dirt? Oh, no. I went to his aunt's house. I can't believe it. I don't intend to gossip. That's your job. Ooh, Johan. You're damned right. Own it. Own it. I'll admit this has me interested. A murder at the Abbey? How did it come to pass? The Baron was struck in the back of the head by something large and heavy enough to fracture his skull. Did your nephew happen to see anything in a window when he was robbing the Baron at the time of the murder? My mentor, Brother Pierre, was found with the body, but he's too frail to have done the deed. I'm going to eat these eggs and be sad. Grizzly, what about the blood? Was it everywhere? Some. Too bad. Tell you about the wound. Could you see it? Jesus, Mom. I'm only curious. It's not every day a man's murdered in broad daylight. What if I need to protect myself? You're being weird, Mom. Weird and drunk. <laughs> uh huh. Do you have any idea who might have done the deed, if not this brother, Piero? The Baron had many enemies in town and at the Abbey. Now your nephew, has he seen anyone in the window the night of the murder? Scandalous. To think that any tassing resident might be a murderer. Don't say that. Buck up, son. A noble killer won't take an interest in you. What's that supposed to mean? Whoever killed the Baron has to be dumb as rocks. Or very angry. Does anyone come to mind, Johan? Is there anything useful that we can get out of this conversation? No. And I wouldn't tell you if they did. No good can come of whatever it is you're up to, Andreas. Once the church and the nobility get involved, all the peasants are going to get is shit. From one end or the other, it doesn't matter which. Gross, Dad. <laughs> see this chicken and be sad that we picked the wrong house. <laughs> what? I'm right. Hans thinks I'm right, don't you, son? Always, Dad. At least God granted me one respectful child. Ugh, what a suck-up. Speaking of the church, has Johan told you about how the abbot's out to ruin our lives? No. We were supposed to expand our farm, but the abbot's taxes make it impossible. We can't grow enough barley to feed ourselves, pay the miller's toll, and give the abbey its due. It's not Christian. It's not right the way you and the rest of the farmers are treated. Revolution. That's right. Now that Ren and Kemper's kicked the bucket, the old witch's land will be forfeit soon. Yep. When Sotilia is gone, her land will be available for us to purchase, God willing. Oh, damn. Is he going to murder Otilia? Not if Uncle Franks. Franz. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. Uncle Franz. How is he? Is he having dinner as well? I can't believe you. She's an old lady living all alone. We should be looking after her, not picking up scraps from her corpse. Shut up, Jesus. How dare you speak to your father that way? Uh, should I go and maybe, like, have dinner with your, your 
relatives next door that I was trying to go see. Should I like step out? You want my advice? Stay out of it. They always get like this after more than an hour in the same room. Ooh, fresh pottage. I feel sorry for Otilia. Lord help me. We're going to have a very serious conversation about your attitude, Veronica. Haha, ha, you're in for it now. Eat shit, Hans. That was a lovely meal. All right, that's it. Andreas, it's been great, but I need to have a talk with my ungrateful children. See yourself out. Be nice to your sister, Hans. Hey, welcome, Raiders. The dice are cast. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for that raid. Welcome, all. Hope you're having a good night. We are playing Pentiment. Hope you had a nice stream. Uh, this is a murder mystery. I'm supposed to interview people in their homes and I accidentally went to the wrong house. So we had a lovely dinner conversation, learned absolutely nothing. Thank you for those follows, welcome in. Uh, so we are a, just a general nerdy variety stream uh, playing uh, narrative video games on Thursdays and TTRPG stuff throughout the month. We have a first Friday stream where a guest GM takes over the channel. Um, thank you for all those follows. So tomorrow we're actually streaming with guest GM um, Dungeon Mr. Ty. And we're going to be playing Neo Varden. So if you like TTRPG stuff, general video game nerdiness, you're in the right place. Thank you for that raid. Give you a shout out as well. <laughs> the dice are cast. We had to <laughs> come visit someone named Insight Check. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yes, I do. I do tend to roll high on those rolls. Um, and I would have rolled high in this context too, sussing out murder suspects in medieval Bavaria, except I literally walked into the wrong house. So perception, very low. Very low. Insight, we're good. Hope you guys had a good stream. Oh, you're also playing Pentiment. Amazing. Then you know exactly. Well, you probably didn't walk into the wrong house. So you don't know. <laughs> you, you were solving the mystery correctly, I assume. <laughs> day and day. I can affirm with authority on that statement. High insight rolls all the time. <laughs> Appreciate that. All right, you guys hear that bell? It is Nons. Jacob has arrived. I cannot believe you went to the wrong goddamn house. Where is their house? Yeah, the Bauer house, right? Is this is this not right? The Bowers? Cat and France? Do they not live here? Where do they live? Oh, god damn it. There's two Bauer houses. I went to the wrong Bauer house! Completely! You see, it's over there. By the widow. Oh, they got me. They got me good. It's fine. It's fine. That was probably not critical information. <laughs> totally fine. Dice, how far are you into Pentiment? And is it your first playthrough? I actually do not know about the replay value of this game, so I assume everyone plays it once. Hey, Klaus. See, this is where I wanted to go. Franz Bauer. Oh. You, you, you. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I'm like yelling into the mic. That's the problem we're having here today. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Cat. Cat, you're the lady sitting in front of the house. And you're the angry man. Aww. I would wish you a good day, Andreas, but I fear that would be a lie. Has something happened? Martin's gone missing. Shit. We've got Rudger gone, and Martin's gone. Cat is beside herself. I think I knew that already. <laughs> yes, I think I talked to Cat already. Ah, um, my son fleeing the Abbey Thursday morning. Right after Baron Rothvogel was murdered. All right. I gotta tell someone about this. Lord God. Martin. You couldn't have. Do you think Martin could have killed the Baron? I really wanted to ask you this over lunch, but tell me now. No. No, there's a storm cloud over Martin, but it only rains on him. He would never hurt someone. I can't imagine it. You must admit it looks suspicious. It does, I know, but... He has made many mistakes, but he's never hurt anyone. Not me, not his mother, not the animals. Even if main, many in town don't speak highly of him, I know in my heart he is a good man. Please believe me. Dice, we just started and it's my first playthrough. Oh, you are? I'm further than you? Oh, no. Okay, Dice, thank you for the raid, but maybe you don't want to, like, watch, you know? Like, no spoilers? I'm about to, I'm about to spoil some. We are going to, uh, we're going to court with all of the lack of evidence that we have. <laughs> Dice, thank you so much for welcoming me and my community. I'm going to raid and run to avoid spoilers. Totally fair. Totally fair. Thank you so much for the raid. Thanks for bringing your community in. Um, if I see you streaming, actually, let me give you a follow. I will, uh, depending on how far you get ahead of me. Let's see. How do I? There you go. Um, I'll be sure to to check out your progress and make sure that you do not walk into the wrong house accidentally. I hope you enjoy the game. Absolutely, yeah, of course. Thank you for the raid. Have a good night. Just want to understand who might be responsible for the Baron's murder. I don't think it was Martin. I don't think Martin is the killer. I think Martin saw what happened. For what it's worth, I don't think it was Martin. I understand. Thank you for hearing me out. I should probably get back to my chores. Franz will be angry if he sees me shirking. Or talking to an unmarried man. Of course, God willing, Martin will come home soon. He will. I must trust in Providence. Be well, Andreas. Be well, Brigida. Thank you so much for talking to me. Even though I really wanted to talk to these people. Goodbye. Goodbye forever. Let's, see, let's just see real quick what's going on at the mill. Oh no. That's... Nope. Okay. Mill time. Hmm? Not a lot. Not a lot's happening here. Else? Hello, Master Mailer. Paul? Um, hello. Paul, right? I don't think we've talked before. I'm Andreas. I'm staying with the Gertners. Oh, but you're not a farmer. Why are you living with the farmers? They're letting me board them while I work in the Abbey's scriptorium. My job that I don't go to. You're a monk. I'm an artist. Oh, like you do drawings? Drawing, painting, calligraphy. If it goes in a book, I can put it in there. 
Oh, is that... How do you get, buddy? <laughs> what? The Abbey pays me, of course. Art is a job. Just like being a miller is a job, but it's also a calling. People need beauty as much as they need bread. I did. My dad says... Oh, my dad says drawing's stupid. It's not worth anything. Do you like to draw, Paul? Yes. More than anything. But I have to do it where my dad can't see. He gets mad. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> do we lead Paul down a life of artistic crime? <laughs> yes, we do. But if it means a lot to you, maybe he doesn't need to know. Can I tell you a secret? Can we go real hard on this? Oh, it said I'm a good influence on Xbox. I got the good influence achievement for having a child go behind his father's back. That's great. Uh, sure. Let's let's take it easy on this kid. Sometimes I draw the on the ruins. Ah, it's Paul. Paul's the one that draws on the ruins. Love it. In the in the meadow where my dad can't see. <laughs> the first one's great, but what do you draw? Cats, Bob, I don't know, stuff. I probably shouldn't be talking to you. Dad won't like it. You're probably right. I'll go. Until later, Paul. And hey, keep drawing, all right? I will. Bye! -a. Ah. This guy. Andres. Great. That was a delightful conversation. Tell what you got, my man. Hello, Master Mailer. Uh, okay. S uh, hmm. Jacob has arrived. Okay, real quick, we're going to see what's going on in the forest. I'm intrigued by the forest. Smoky or their vast love will give me any info. Hey, vast love. Hey, Smoky. Did you need something, Master Mailer? No. But thank you. Okay. That was a bust. All right. Time to face the music. I will say we were not as targeted with all of our meal conversations as we could have been. Where the hell am I supposed to meet this guy? Rucker, you're back. God bless you, Andreas. I thought you were missing. Lovely. Where the hell is this guy? Hello, everyone. Everyone. Everyone's here. Hetty, Veronica, nice to see you. Gertrude, lovely to see you. Marguerite, always a pleasure. Adoc, guy. Um, you're just okay, buddy. The, the baker? Ah, you must be my man. Please state your name for our records. Hmm. Andreas. Son of Joseph Mailer, master artist from Nuremberg. 
What is an artist doing in Kearsaw Abbey? <laughs> I ask myself that sometimes. <laughs> oh, no. The Abbey still has some commissions from wealthy patrons, and I need the money before I return to Nuremberg. Arnold, please write that down. I think we're ready to begin. Of course, Your Reverence. This is it. Now then, Master Mailer, what was your relation to Lorenz, the Baron Rothvogel? Incidental acquaintances, nothing more. Would it be fair to say you did not feel you knew him well? I had some sense of him as a person. How would you characterize him? Whew, he's done some fucked up things, that's for sure. A nobleman, for all of the good and ill that goes along with that title. Do you have a problem with the nobility, Master Miller? Of course not, Your Reverence, but even noblemen may be tempted to abuse their power. I understand your meaning, yes. Do you know of anyone who had a reason to harm the Baron? What if I just said no? <laughs> oh, and then, like, that's the end of the Let's Play. I just say no, and I just turn off the game. Okay, not going to happen. I can think of a few people, Your Reverence. Good. That might help us solve this problem that faces us. The Baron Rothvogel was murdered here in this very room. Someone did it. Father Gernoff believes it was one of his monks, Brother Piero. I have met with Brother Piero and questioned him at length. While it seems unlikely that a man of his age and temperament could murder the Baron, he was discovered in flagrante delicto. Oops. Yes. In blazing offense, indicating an individual has been caught in the act of committing a crime. He wasn't, though. The Baron was already dead. Stop talking. If you wish to advocate on behalf of Brother Piero, I suggest shutting your mouth until I ask you a question. Piero had reasons to resent the Baron, the loss of his work, the insistence on discussing the writings of the troublemaker from Wittenberg. And as for his age and infirmity, I myself have read of many cases in which a man of modest strength succumbs to the temptations of the devil. Once seized by a devilish fever, the poor sinner gains an infernal power that allows him to inflict grievous wounds, sometimes fatal. What I am saying is that in spite of the curious circumstances, Brother Piero is the most plausible perpetrator of this most vile act. I understand that you are on friendly terms with Brother Piero. You also interacted with the Baron, both in town and the Abbey. Did you witness anything that suggests someone else could have murdered Baron Rothvogel? Okay. I don't know anything about Lucky. I did have lunch with him, seemed pretty chill. I'm not throwing Sister Matilda under the bus after what she's gone through. Fuck that. Otilia, I wouldn't put it past her, but I don't think she did it. Uh, Ferenc has no alibi, burned evidence, and is generally shady. And Martin is just an idiot. This, this is the one that they're not going to like, though. The Abbey's prior Ferenc was behaving suspiciously the day of the Baron's arrival. He may have had a motive. That is an extraordinary claim, Andreas. The abbot speaks highly of the prior, and he oversees both your and Brother Piero's work, does he not? Yes, Your Reverence. An extraordinary claim requires extraordinary evidence. 
for me to take it seriously. Ooh. Why should I take the word of an artist over a respected officer of this abbey? I can provide evidence of Prior Faring's motive. Can I? Please do so. On the day that the Baron arrived, ooh, do we do, do we do that? Um, that doesn't seem helpful. That just makes me look suspicious. Brother Ro, Baron Rothogel and Prior Ferenc were exchanging letters about performing a magical ritual during the Baron's visit. I hope to God I have that evidence. <clears throat> you have proof of this? I have... Shit, what do I have? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I have a letter... The prior wrote to the Baron. I have both, don't I? I think I have both. One was on the body. No, one was in his house. And then I have an imprint as well. So I'm going to go with a letter. In it, the prior mentions that he will not perform a ritual for the Baron, even if the Baron does follow up through on a threat to implicate him to the Inquisitors in Innsbruck. An implication of necromancy is a serious matter. The prior's position would have been in peril, possibly even his life. And how do you believe Prior Frank would have killed the Baron? I pray will, you will not say it was a magical ritual. I found a silver rod that belongs to Prior Ferenc. It has dried blood on it. A silver rod. Likely a magical tool of some sort, but it is of a size and weight appropriate for the head wound that the Baron received. How did you... Oh god, we're in trouble now. How did you come to possess this item? In truth, it involved a little grave digging. Master Merler, while it is not my place nor my task to hold you liable for what you've done, I will be informing Father Gernot. Is there anything else to say about the prior? No, your reverence. Very well. Who else may want to see the Baron dead? I don't know, man. I don't about Lucky. I can't I can't in good conscience put forward Lucky's name not knowing anything about him. Matilda is not happening. Otilia Otilia just got that letter read to her. Uh, no. Forget that. It's it's a uh, Ferenc or bust. I can think of no one else who could have caused harm to the Baron, your reverence. Very well. Are you aware of anything else that might shed some light on this case? Has Brother Florian told you about the note he found in the Baron's clothing? Yes, Brother Florian explained how he came to find it and told me its contents. Master Adel Yeager has entered his testimony in our register. I don't understand the implications. Who is the innocent? It's not clear to me either, Your Reverence. Do you believe the murderer wrote it? Whoever wrote it was a talented scribe. I understand Kearsaw has two, the elderly brother Adok and the younger brother Guy. To be frank, your reverence, neither man has the skill to write in this way. There's something else about it, too. The style is just different. It's unlike Adok and Guy's writing, unlike mine. Unlike mine, for sure. <laughs> Something about the way the first and second strokes meet the A and G. That's weird. I'm going to write that down. Under clues. Experience as a scribe the way the A and G meet. <laughs> so hopefully helpful. Yes, well, whatever the particulars, it seems it will remain a mystery that stands apart from the commission of the murder. The 
This could implicate those people, though. Oh, man. Here's a real conundrum. If I pull in the other folks... It will put the heat on them. I feel like those notes vindicate them because if you're a murderer, why are you writing yourself a note? That's weird. Shoot, do we give this guy the full picture? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. I do not want to throw these guys under the bus. Mm. But he's totally dismissing the note as separate shit. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I hope that this guy can, like, use logic. Uh, unfortunately, there's more to tell. I found more notes. Notes written in the same hand on the same type of parchment to those who had a motive to kill the Baron. That is deeply troubling, but again, beyond the bounds of my investigation. In any case, thank you for bringing it to my attention. Of course, your reverence. Until next time. Un un until then. Woof! Hey, Dork, welcome in. Good to see you. How are you doing? Andreas, I didn't think you were coming to this. I didn't think I was either. I suppose I wanted to see how this ends after all. It was the prior of the Abbey, if you can believe it. Did you ever talk with him in the Abbey, Andreas? You missed the trial, Andreas. That archdeacon read off all the charges and found him guilty. Oh god, I hope I was right. Oh my god. I just, I just, I just pointed the finger at this guy. Oh my god. Was I right? Was I right? I don't know. I worked with him almost every day, Clara. I didn't know he had murder in him. Oh, they want you to think they're so pious, but they're all, all they're here to do is slowly drain the life out of this town. <laughs> Dork, hey, doing good, tired, how are you? I'm good, I'm solving a murder, question mark? I, I hope I didn't just mess up the investigation and miss, miss Lucky's confession. <laughs> Calm down, Peter. Oh, here comes the procession. Oh, man. Can you imagine? What would have happened if I had implicated more than one person? Did I miss anything? No, you're fine. Andreas. Otto. Gosh, we can't do Matthau's voice justice without a hug. Uh, oh my god, they're gonna kill Farrick and I did it! I did it! I pointed the finger at Farrick. This can't be happening, this can't be happening. Oh my god. Oh no. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. Silence, silence. Oh shoot, Dana Teo, man, now you've done it. God damn, this guy's gonna die. I order the executioner to carry out his duty. Oh my god. I warn him peace and safe conduct, whatever may befall him. Fuck, I gotta look away. Mm-mm, mm-mm. My lord judge, 
Have I executed well? You have executed as judgment and law have required. For that, I thank God and my master who has taught me such art. Holy shit. <laughs> I know this was your doing, Andreas. Oh, boy. If you want to blame someone, blame yourself. You turned a blind eye to his activities for years. How dare you? Do you understand the pressure I'm under to keep this abbey together? Does that mean you should ignore the fact that your prior studies black magic or that he killed a man? You are no longer welcome at Kyrsau, Andreas Mailer. I will send your final payment to the Gertners. <laughs> Touch of Mr. Ty. Andreas did it. No, I want to live in this game. May you have a long and successful career in Nuremberg, and may you never travel this way again. I don't think he did it. I think he was set up. Andreas, has the time come for you to leave us? Also, welcome in, Ty. Uh, I mentioned this earlier, but Ty will be GMing a game of New Barden tomorrow for First Fridays. Welcome, guest GM. So that's very exciting. So come see us again tomorrow, everyone. Uh, I will be playing... I don't want to spoil it. I almost spoiled it. I'll be playing a very exciting character from one of the many exciting cultures of New York Arden, so you'll just have to come check it out. Andreas, has the time come for you to leave us? I'm afraid so, Brother Piero. I <laughs> just kind of do a quick kill that one too. He talked down to you. <laughs> no. This farewell will have to be brief, Father Garnot. Oh, Father Garnot made it clear I was no longer welcome at Kyrsau. I pray that time will soften Father Abbott's heart. I hope he eventually realizes you are only trying to help me. Piero, I swear to God, if you did it, I'll be so pissed. This is a sad parting, but inevitable. I had hoped you would stay a bit longer. But the world needs you more than Kyrsau does. You have grown beyond this old abbey and become a master in your own right. I will miss you, my son. Who will keep you out of trouble when I'm gone? I pray that is the last trouble I will see in my old age. And I have God, and you, to thank for getting me out of it. What time will it be, Dork? It will be at 7.30 Central Time, tomorrow. Um, we're playing for a few hours, so if you're free, come hang out. It's a non- like a non-traditional medieval setting. It's um, kind of this this new fantasy world, an exploration garden of different cultures and lots of things to see and do and a lot of shenanigans. Um, so I'm excited to try it out. It's a D4 system too. Uh, Ty invented this, this game, so just very excited, very excited to try it out. Hey, welcome in Raiders. Oh, thank you, Dork. Always a joy to be here. Appreciate that. It's good to see you back. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Jess. Good evening. <laughs> How are you doing? What were you guys up to? Welcome, Raiders. Ty, exploration in the time since the emergence. Yes, Ty said it much more succinctly, <laughs> being the creator of the game. Yeah, I'm super stoked. Thank you for running the game tomorrow, Ty. Welcome in, Agoba. Ooh, Dead by Daylight. Classic. Howdy, just got done playing some Dead by Daylight. Amazing. How are you? I am doing well. Um, Jess, it's been a while since I've seen you play Dead by Daylight. I feel like I switched over to your TTRPG stuff, so... Gotta catch me an OG Dead by Daylight stream at some point. Ty, most pleased and grateful. Of course! Thank you so much for guest jamming tomorrow. We're, we're stoked. Um, it should be fun, and I always love learning new systems. 
Although I will probably be learning the rules as we go. I'm a very like hands-on learner. So grateful for your, um, your teaching ability too. Jess, this is my first time playing in like a month. It was a nice break. Nice. It's good to come back to some games. I've been off and on with this one with Pentiment, and it's not, it doesn't lend himself, uh, itself to that. It's very much like I'm Sherlock Holmes trying to solve a mystery, and I keep forgetting all the clues. So hopefully we'll get, pick up a little bit of speed with this. It's high death as OG as it gets. <laughs> But thank you so much for that raid. It's good to see you. Um, and for raiders who are new to the stream, um, I'm Insight Checked. We play narrative video games on Thursdays, and we do TTRPG stuff throughout the rest of our time here. So we are doing First Fridays tomorrow. Uh, guest GM Ty, who's hanging out in chat, is going to take over the channel. And we're going to play an actual play game together of a game that Ty created. So super fun. Brando didn't enjoy this game, but I think it looks super cute. Oh, I'd be interested to hear why Brando didn't like it. It's very Sherlock holmes -y. Although I, I get the feeling that we're like on the tip of the iceberg here, because I just killed a man. I just, I just sentenced someone to death because of my sleuthing abilities. So I feel, I feel a lot of weight from that. Um, and yet the game's not over, so clearly something else is happening here. <laughs> Jess, I think he was too high. <laughs> Incredible. Hey, Dork, thank you so much for stopping by. Gonna go pretend to sleep. Excited to catch your games around. Amazing, thank you. Take good care. Have a good night. And yeah, we'll, we'll catch you tomorrow for New Arvardin. All right, y'all, let's see what Piero says. Uh, actually, okay, this is a good poll. It's been a while since we've had a good poll material. Let's see, let's see. Oh, or we could do a prediction. Um, okay. Our prediction will be Will Piero reveal that he was, in fact, the murderer? <laughs> mm, that's too many words, apparently. Let's get rid of in fact. There we go. It's my Twitter skills. And you can either say yes or no. Or Lucky was the murderer. He's like our big suspect that we didn't interview. Okay. Perfect. I don't know how... Oh, I think y'all can bet your channel points. Okay, beautiful. Have a good night, Dork. All right. Piero, you old, you old guy. Look at you. Look at your beard that splits. Come, your masterpiece is complete. May I see it one last time before you go? Please, I value your assessment. The opinion of one old monk matters little. All the same, I'm excited to see it finished at last. That is good! That's the family! That is so cute! It is a masterpiece, truly worthy of the word. Just gotta scoot out and make some din, but hope you're having an amazing stream. Thank you so much! Thank you for raiding in. Always good to see you. Appreciate your... In, I was gonna say entrustment. <laughs> you, you entrusting your community with our shenanigans. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Jess. Have a good night. I think entrustment could be a word. I think Shakespeare would approve. It 
It appears you took my advice to heart. What advice was that? Thanks for the follow, Agoba. To put yourself into the work, not just to interpret another artist's work, but to transform it into something true. All right, now y'all have a sense of Piero. What did you vote? Okay, we have, we have a yes. <laughs> okay, just, just threw their uh, hat in the ring here. So, even though they're leaving, we'll, we'll dole out those points. If Piero is revealed to be a murderer. This shows the world as it is, as you have seen it, even if it is not what we may want to see. I think this is adorable. Though it's not my place to say so, I am proud of you, Andreas. <gasps> is that one of those notes? Holy shit. Holy shit. What's this, a scrap of parchment? Do not return here. A warning? Don't fuck with me, Piero. You gave this to me. Oh my god! The freaking killer is still alive! Oh my god! I killed an innocent necromancer! Oh my god. Whose hand is this? It doesn't look like Brother Adok or Brother Guy's. Brother Florian and I found a similar note in the Baron's clothing. And, and, and I found more notes delivered to others while I was investigating. They must have been written by someone who knew the darkest secrets of the town and this abbey. Hey, <laughs> thanks for the hydrate. <laughs> Cheers. Dungeon Mr. Ty, entrustment is a word? That's great news. Interesting. Probably in a legal sense. Like <laughs> one of those um, uh, nominalizations. Oh, that's, that's a $10 word for you. When you turn a verb into a noun unnecessarily, like entrustment. I would circle that in red and say, please, do, do not do this. Use a strong verb. <laughs> it actually means what you meant. Amazing. Hey, Rocket Dog, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Give a shout out for Rocket Dog, streamer of video games, slayer of dragons. Ooh, why does it not let me do it? There we go. They tugged at those secrets to kill the Baron like someone pulling at threads that had been buried in the past. Frightening thought, but who would do such a thing? I wish I knew. Do not trouble yourself overly about it. Your future lies outside of these walls. I hope that you will have time to visit me once or twice in your travels before the Lord takes me. Or the murderer that's on the loose, you know, maybe that. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Assuming Father Garnout doesn't forbid it. We must have faith that better days lie ahead for all of us. God bless you, Andreas Mailer. Thank you for your guidance. Until later. Oh. Okay. Oh, we got finish act one. Nice. Hey, welcome in, Daryl. Welcome, welcome. You came right at the time when there is a new act for the game. We uh, cleared chapter one, apparently. Give you a shout out. Oh, I'm like shouted out. 
Mm. Oh man, it's been so long since I used my stream elements command. <laughs> Boy, I've been relying on the Twitch one so much. Is that what I used to do? Yeah, I did it. <laughs> shout, shout, let it all out. Welcome in. Thank you for that raid. Hope you're having a good night. All right, so we have just solved a murder, killed a man, the murderer is still loose, I've been kicked out of the abbey, and now we seem to have gone forward in time? And I'm a king. Is your mic a little fuzzy? Oh no. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Next test. Well, that's one side of it. Test, test, one, two, three. Um, hmm. I don't know what's up with my mic tonight. Okay, SDM said it was uh, maxing out earlier, too. Weird. Testing, testing. I am now the king of this land and Casper is my ward. Um, I'll just talk aimlessly while I look for settings that might be responsible. And, you know, unplugging the mic and plugging it back in again didn't work. Reverb. Oh no. Utter betrayal by OBS. How does this shit get so messed up and I don't touch it ever? good on my end. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> the software has become sentient. <laughs> Gonna ask if you had another mic. Mm. I don't. Let me see if I can mess with these settings. Okay. Give me a hot second. And also, I'm gonna crawl under my desk and see if the mic is plugged in weird. Alright. We'll be right back.
Oh, good. My webcam's frozen. <laughs> oh no, everything's broken. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Nope, that's just me forever now. Nice profile. Guys, OBS just went to shit during my stream. <laughs> oh no, this is what I look like. All right, I'll just talk and I'll just move myself around like this. This is, this is good, right? This is fine, this is a fine stream. This is quality content right here. Uh, that's what I get for unplugging things in the middle of my stream. <laughs> oh no, at least it's an okay face. It's like pretty neutral. Okay. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna try turning it off and off again. Yeah, hold on. I did it. All right, so we'll do a mic check. We're gonna la 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 la. I don't know if this is doing anything. This is the only thing on my mic. And I don't believe it is doing anything. Hmm. So, apologies for the weird sound stuff. Okay, I'm gonna say like one thing for a long time. Andreas Miller, God bless you, Master Miller. 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 God bless you. There was no change, was there? God bless you, Master Mailer. It's weird, okay. Is, I don't think, could it be, is the stream open for me? I don't think so. Also, it's like very dramatic to be having audio issues with like a dramatic thunderstorm in the background. Okay, I'm gonna go with, unfortunately Jess, I'm gonna go with Piero is not the murderer. So we'll dole out those channel points. Thus far, thus far. Reverb. That's so weird. Yeah, okay, SDM earlier was saying that my mic was really peeking out. Very, very strange. This is definitely the right mic. Y'all, I unplugged it too. I unplugged both sides of it. Gave it a good Nintendo 64 <sighs> dust swipe blessing. And I have, I have messed with absolutely none of my settings. So very, very strange. Okay, let me get rid of this thing. And if this breaks the whole thing, well, that's, that's on me. Yeah. A little bit of reverb. That's the weird part. My kingdom for audio troubleshooters. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that under I don't know. 
and I will try to fix it before tomorrow. <laughs> Sounds like it's sensitive. I can hear you well when not speaking directly into the mic. Y'all, this is the same mic I've had like my entire time streaming. I don't know why it's, <laughs> it's all like upset at me today. All right. Okay, how is that? Is that good? Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna, we're just gonna talk from back here. All right, well that was a fun break. Hope you all got a chance to stretch. We're gonna keep going though, cause I'm very intrigued. I'm a king and uh, we'll just get back into it. Ah, we'll edit that in post. Casper, are you all right, Master Andreas? What? Are you all right, Master Andreas? Yes, thank you. I was just remembering him. Trying to, anyway. Doesn't come easily anymore. Oh, would you like me to leave you alone? No, no, Casper, it's not necessary. There's nothing to be done about it now. It's too late. Like so many things. Andreas Mailer. Never expected to see your face here again. As our king. Have you been in Nuremberg for these last seven years? No. Nuremberg for only a few years, but I received some lucrative commissions abroad. Oh, hell yeah. Pick a background that will affect your character's choices going forward. Press and hold to confirm your choice. Poland. Andreas knows some Polish, bit of Czech and Hungarian, and can reference cultural and cultural touchstones from Krakow, Prague, and Buda. England. Andreas knows some English, and can reference cultural touchstones from London and other parts of Britain. France. Andreas knows some French. Cultural touchstones from Paris, Tours, and Dijon, and Aragon. Spanish and bits of Arabic, and can reference cultural touchstones from Barcelona and Valencia. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking it's a pole. That's how, that's how we got to be a craftsman, after all. Okay. I should have put up this pole while I was messing with my volume. Dealer's choice. Love it. All right, everyone. Let's do it. All right, one minute poll, let's do it. The will of the people. Also, if you wanna dump a bunch of points into this, you know, you can tilt the scales. I think that's, oh, that's how we got our class picked out. I think someone went really hard into uh, Craftsman. It was like a hedonist versus Craftsman battle. I'm just gonna stare angrily at my mic while this happens. You know, is this, is this telling me to like update OBS? Finally? Maybe that's what that is. I've been avoiding it. It's a very well-timed thunderclap. All right, here we go. Well, last call, last call, everyone. All right, Spain it is. Day and day, thank you for those channel points. Let's do it. Spent a few years in Aragon. They're quite fond of the Netherlandish painters, and my style was, well, close enough. Are they still conducting those ghastly inquisitions there? Across the peninsula, yes, though less so in Aragon. Why? I found them cruel. The Jews were ejected from Dijon as well, an ugly part of our history. 
I'm surprised you care at all. Well, I'm not about to leap into a fire to save anyone, but I don't think it's right what's happened to them. In spite of your extensive travels and success, you're still not welcome at Kearsaw. The abbot still hasn't forgotten what happened. Seven years isn't all that long. <laughs> Did it take Spanish Inquisitions? I wouldn't have expected that. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, well played, well, well played. I simply wanted to pay my respects to an old friend. Surely you would understand that, as your king. Understand why Father Abbot expelled you from the Abbey? What were you expecting? A hero's welcome? <sighs> Fine. Tell Father Gernal I'll be staying at the land house in town for a night or two before moving on. The Golden Hand? I'll tell him, but I can't imagine he'll care. Why is he so rude? God bless you. Now be off. Revolution, June 1525. That monk seemed unhappy to see you, Master Andreas. Why is the abbot so angry with you? Toward the end of my stay in Tassing, there was a murder at Kearsau Abbey, a nobleman. Father Gernal panicked and accused my friend, Brother Pierre, of committing the crime. I helped convince the investigating archdeacon that another monk was responsible. Prior Fair. He was executed for the crime. You got someone killed? Yes. I had no idea you were involved in something so exciting. Casper, you little bloodthirsty helper. Why didn't you mention it before? Well, I suppose it must have been a hard situation if the abbot is still mad at you. Oh god, that second choice. I had to make some difficult choices. Maybe they were the wrong ones. I've had to live with that. Why do you come here if you're not welcome? I wanted to pay my respects to Brother Piero. And to be honest, I'm not looking forward to returning to Nuremberg. <laughs> Let's not go to Nuremberg. Tis a silly place. This commission, it's an obscene vanity piece under the pretext of a religious scene. My patrons just want to celebrate themselves and their wealth. God, can you imagine being an artist at this time and just having to deal with all of your patrons' vanity? I dread each new commission more than the last. Every step I take toward home is agonizing. But Master, you're famous and rich. Your work is wonderful. When I saw your altarpiece in Nuremberg, I begged my father to help me become your apprentice. Don't you understand how I could accomplish all that you have and be unhappy? I don't understand. I don't understand how I could accomplish all that you have and be unhappy. Hmm. Ma'am, which depressing answer do we want to say? I know. It must be hard to believe. I was once very much like you. Once I wanted this life so much that, if, that it consumed my every waking thought. I don't know if I've changed... Or if what I wanted was never really real, maybe I've been a fool this whole time. Damn. I want life as an artist to be better for you, Casper. Learn from my mistakes, all right? All right, yes, Master Andreas. I shouldn't be burdening you with such dark thoughts, Casper. Come, let's visit my old friend Klaus. It's been too long. As you like, Master Andreas. This is so cool. 
I love this time jump. Room is sparse compared to what I'm used to. Awesome. This is very, very cool. Okay, so they built up the, uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. So there's the inn near the forest. Cool. Anything different here? This place hasn't changed much. Wonder who's the prior now. Hello, Hannah. Hello, Andreas. How are you enjoying your stay? It's been wonderful, Hannah. Thank you. Oh, good. You're in the best room we have. I'm glad it's to your liking. Was there anything else? Nope. Thank you. Until later. Till then. Let me go down the stairs. Oh my god. Nope. Down, down. Okay. Good day, Master Miller. Ah, Master Miller, is it? Hello, and welcome to the Golden Hand. I am Nico Berger. I own this land house and run it with my life, Hannah and our son Killian. I believe my boy, he helped you to your room. Is it to your liking? Oh my god, yes, everything's great. It's lovely, thank you. I'm glad to hear it, glad to hear it. When you arrived in town, one of the locals said you lived here for a few years back. Yes, I worked for the Abbey as an artist. Ah, I see. Heard that you were involved in solving a murder. No. <laughs> Say nothing. I, uh... All right, well, I'll leave you to your day. Until later. Until then. Don't want to talk to everyone about my goddamn murder solving. Jeez. People. Samuel. Hello, Andreas. H Hello, Samuel. Goodbye, Samuel. Nice place for him in. Auto! Just do it. You know it's the right thing. I don't understand why this is so hard for you. Auto, I'm scared. It's dangerous to cross the Abbot. Would you prefer the alternative? You don't need to do that, Auto. I understand. I'm just saying. Andreas? Andreas Mailer? It's good to see you again, old friend. Auto, you're looking well. This is my apprentice, Caspar Ziegler, from Salzburg. Good day. Ah, that answers that. I thought he might be your son. <laughs> no, no, not yet. Ava and I just had our first little Otto. Ah, oh, Ava! Though we call him Otz. Congratulations to you both. That's wonderful news. Thank you. It's been a trial with Dad gone, but Clara and Ursula help out when they can. Oh, your dad died. I'm sorry to hear about your father. That's life. At least he's with the Lord now, free from his aches and pains. I know Ava wrote to you about my father's death, Andreas. Why didn't you write back? I'm... Sorry, I just... Things got busy after I left Tassing. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but I should be heading back. It's freaking Martin. It's Martin. He's a cheap herder now. I feel like I should remember your face, but I can't place it. Oh, don't trouble yourself. It's me, Martin, remember? <laughs> oh, oh, yes, of course. Hello, Martin. Hello. Sorry to run, but I have to get these sheep back to the farm. As much as I love whiling away the hours in the meadow, I have a lot to attend to. Otto, I'll see you at the meeting later. Andreas, until later. Yes, they're starting the revolution. Good to see you, Martin. 
Missed that thought bubble. Pain in my ass. What's this about a meeting? You picked an interesting time to visit. Come by the town commons in a while. I think you'll be interested to hear what I have to say. I didn't realize you were in the business of giving speeches. I'll definitely attend. I love making empty promises in this town. Sounds good. Until later, then. This is so cool. Brother Waslov used time in almost all of the Abbey's cooking needs because it grows so easily here. Alright. All my old friends. Andreas. I'd heard you were back in Tassing. God bless you. God bless you, Father Thomas. It's good to see you again. Hopefully this visit will be less eventful than your last. Passing has enough going on as it is. We have our bonfire for St. John's Eve tomorrow night. People get up to all sorts of mischief. And then it's my job to hear their confessions in the days that follow. Not to mention the grumbling the peasants are making. Let's just talk, brother. No need to scare our guests with such things. I'm sure if there's trouble, Master Mail will be the first to stick his nose in it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Say nothing. It's easy enough for you to come and go. You don't have to live with the consequences. After Fern was executed, or Ferenc was executed, Father Abbott made Mathau the new prior. Damn! Ankh will be so excited! Ferenc and I have been Ferenc may have been annoying, but Mathau is even worse. Thanks for that. Would have been better for everyone if you'd simply allowed Brother Piero to die. After all, you only need a few years left anyway. Stare menacingly at him. Nothing to say for yourself. Friends, friends. There's no need for such ire. I forgive me, Father Thomas. I let my passions get the better of me. Besides, that's not even why I came down here. I actually came to speak to you about the abbot's behalf, on the abbot's behalf, Andreas. Father Gernoth would like to invite you to come to the library tomorrow morning if you're interested in purchasing some of our books. The abbot just had me run off now, and he wants me back. I can't let the mind... I... Oh, hello. I can't know the mind of the father abbot. I just do what he asks. The library is not quite ready yet, as it does not see much use. If you could come by tomorrow morning, Mother Illuminata can show you what's available. Mother Illuminata? Ooh, you gotta see her picture. Yep, there she is. Yes, since Mother Cecilia passed a few years ago. How did she die? Peacefully, in her sleep. So... Tomorrow morning? All right. Tell him to expect me. I'm sure he'll be overjoyed. And Andreas? I apologize for my harsh words before. It was rash. Brother Piero was a pious man and a skilled artist. We miss him. You dick. You do not miss him. I'm gonna nod. Oh, Father Thomas, do you have a moment to speak inside the church? Yes, I think so. Why? Private matter. Of course, of course. Until tomorrow, God bless you, Andreas. <clears throat> I need to hear what they're talking about. Okay, so we have a few things to do. So we can hear Otto's speech, talking to Klaus, and then seeing Mother Illuminata tomorrow morning. 
like, man, I can't wait to see what's up with all my old nemeses. The Mueller house is closed. Interesting. How are the rooms looking? Oh, he's still drawing. He got pretty good. That little guy. Good for him. What else we got? North Town. Let's see what's going on in the commons first. Endris, where are you, bud? Where's everybody? Who are you? Hey, Anton. Do I know you? Nice to see all these places again. Feel like I've been gone seven years. <laughs> I will never forget that we went to the wrong house. Otelia, are you still kicking? Oh, her house looks like shit. That's not a good sign. Martin Bauer House. No mistake in that one. Oh, Druckers. <laughs> Our favorite cannibal family. Andreas. I'm sorry, Klaus. I know it's been a long time. Seven years. Seven years and nothing from my friend Andreas. First Bert, then Marie, just after Magdalene was born. My wife always thought highly of you. I can't believe you didn't write back after I told you they'd passed. <laughs> everyone's just writing to Andreas and saying that everyone's dead. He's just like, not my problem. I'm sorry, I should have written. Yes, you should have. Too late for that now, though. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, hello. She likes you. Your business seems to have grown. What are you printing? The Twelve Articles, they were originally written by Swabian peasants who were demanding charges, changes from their lords. Freedom from serfdom, freedom to hunt and use the woods as God intended, freedom from compulsory labor, abolition of inheritance tax, fair appraisal of rent, the return of property to common use and ownership. Bavaria isn't Swabia, but their complaints are just as valid for the peasants of Tassing. Ah, so this is Otto's cause. He's got your ear already, hmm? The abbot has been squeezing the peasants for years. Now he's squeezing the townsfolk and we're pushing back. Their cause is righteous, Andreas. If you haven't seen the Gertners lately, you should visit them. And Otto had you print these? Yes, why? Well, I didn't think he could read. He can't. Just about everyone else in town can. He speaks, I print. Just trying to do my part, I suppose. Sorry. Still not in the mood for this late reunion. Come back for dinner tomorrow. You should go to the commons. Hear what Otto has to say. It's worth hearing. I understand. Until later, Klaus. Until then. Old reunion. Woo! We are on everybody's shit list. What else can we see? 
Welcome, welcome. You're just in time for Noms, the 13th hour. Welcome, welcome. Hope you had a nice stream. Give you a shout out here. Uh, so as you know, we are playing Pentiment. And if you don't want spoilers, avert your eyes as we have finished act one. So we are in act two. Hey, bees! Good to see you! How are you doing? So, Legion, were, what were you up to tonight? Were you streaming Pentiment as well? Um, I, I'm delighted by this game and everything that happened after Act 1. I'm, like, totally sucked in. I made some... Very critical errors in Act 1, but we're not going to repeat those in Act 2. Cleaning up our act. <laughs> Legion, no pentiment. KOTOR 2. What's that? Okay, so no one's at Old Smokey's. So what's, what's KOTOR? I'm not familiar. Oh, Google tells me it's Knights of the Old Republic. Is that right? Thanks, Google. <laughs> Is that right? Or did Google lie to me? Google, don't lie. Oh, it is. Okay, Kota is the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Cool. I've heard of that game. I've never played it, though. I hope it was fun. Thank you for raiding in. Oh, in Kuladi is the roguelike game. Okay, gotcha. Cool. That sounds like a fun stream. Well, thank you so much for raiding in. Um, again, if you want to play Pentiment and or don't want to be spoiled, we are in Act 2. Things are getting real. Real serious. I'm very excited, though. This game is, uh, this game has surprised me in a lot of ways. I'm so interested to see actually another playthrough of it because... My choices, I feel like my choices really have changed the game in a, in a pretty fundamental way. And I'd love to see what this game looks like in the hands of someone who's slightly more competent. Okay, so we can't go anywhere up here right now. It's fair. So we're up to our old shenanigans, running around aimlessly. Oh, can I go spy on them? Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. A painting of the Virgin Mary. Hmm. What does the labyrinth symbolize? <laughs> Legion Grey, Pentiment exclusive channel. <laughs> yes, this, this channel is on Thursdays, Pentiment exclusive. Uh, we do a lot of TTRPG stuff otherwise. Oh, yeah, we play narrative video games on Thursdays. Um, Pentamon is our latest in the batch. We've done Outer Wilds and Disco Elysium. Sable. 
things that we've done. Stray. Is that it? There might be another one in there. Um. Yeah. I think that's it. Uh, but it's been a very good time. And then we do a lot of RPG actual plays. And tomorrow we're having a guest GM play New of Arden with us. So that should be a good time as well. Is your stream mostly video games, Legion? Um, what the hell is this thing? This wasn't here before. Rothhouse construction is going smoothly. I wonder if they'll finish it before winter. Tassing is lucky to have so much wonder wound wart naturally growing. Oh, I think we did see that last time we were here. Okay, so this is something interesting is going to be up there soon. place we need to be. <laughs> That's why literally no one else has been down. Awesome. Casper, so many people. Everyone, listen. We all know why we're here. Nothing I'm going to say will be a surprise. Nothing I'm going to say hasn't already been spoken behind closed doors, whispered to your neighbors. Nothing. I'm going to say is untruthful, so it's time we started saying it openly. Year after year, the Abbey has found new ways to tax the peasants. Piece by piece, the Abbey has taken away our rights to use God's forest to support our families. Law after law gets heaped upon us, restrictions on how we can pay rent. Man, I took this guy grave digging once, and he's, like, all fired up now. Limits on where we can move, who we can wed. And now, the death tax, which once claimed only our best animal and garment. Our best animal and garment takes half our estate. No consideration for widows, no consideration for children. What happened to Otilia? Is she here? She's here! Look at her! She's all crusty in the corner. Who else do we see here? There's the miller. Looking like a sassy bitch in the upper left corner. Who else we got? Who else we got? Oh, there's his wife. Oh, and his son Paul has grown up. How nice for you, Paul. Oh wait, no, that's not the sassy bitch Miller. The Miller is near his wife and Paul. They're all wearing the same colors. Ah, that's the doctor. That's the doctor that was in the Abby's pocket. Okay, okay, okay. Interrupt us. Hey, what's up? Oof, can't watch, wish I could. Yes, please, don't look, don't look, no spoilers. How far are you in the game? Are you in act two? I'm in act two. Legion Grey, mostly lore RPG streams. Awesome! Meaning we've probably played games before. That's great! Love a good RPG stream. Interrupt us, I got, I got past the murder. Okay, don't watch this then. This is all kinds of spoilers. Flee, flee my friend. Yeah, but keep playing. It's, it's a very good game. I Actually, I will be watching your VODs because I do want to see how decisions change the gameplay. <laughs> yep, <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> Bye now. Have a good night, Interrupt Us. Oh, let me do a shout out for you. You can go, but <laughs> I will shout you out. Um, for more Pentiment, follow Interrupt Us, who has just seen a murder. No consideration for widows, no consideration for children. What about the town council, the Rothhouse? Surely that's a sign that the abbot wishes to share his power to listen to our grievances. You have a good heart, Ulrich. You always want to see the best in people. But no. The 
Council is a way for the abbot to divide us, to pit a favored few against the many. This is not charity. No, only greed and desperation drive Father Gano. You'd think that if the abbot could, he'd steal a dead man's soul from heaven itself. Big words. And when we protested, what did Father Gernot do? He locked the shrine of St. Moritz. He won't allow the people of this town, the farmers of this land, to pray before the relic. Now, when we most need the intercession of our saint, the abbot has shut us out. Father Gernot's actions aren't just. They aren't Christian. We've endured this abuse for too long. It's time we let the abbot know we won't take it anymore. Let's prime those fists, prime them. Too right, hear, hear. Yes, this has to stop. Hannah, ah, the innkeeper, stop, this is foolish. I'm a capitalist. Soldiers are already patrolling nearby towns. If you push against the abbey, you'll incur the duke's wrath. You could get the town raised and everyone killed. Hannah's right. Oh yeah, this is the dick. Hannah's right. The Duke is a powerful force in Bavaria. You were playing a dangerous game, Otto. You lost a lot. Oh, wait. You lot are no match for trained soldiers. If you don't relent, you'll be ground into dust like the Swabian peasants. We can always grind you up instead, Leonard. I don't know about this. I have a son. We must stand for what is right. Might be right if there are already soldiers about. Look at that, guys. I'm reading like six dialogue boxes. What? Don't be shy. Speak up if you have cause. Martin. We won't be overrun. The peasants of Salzburg were able to take the city and have their cause heard. If the people can get the Archbishop of Salzburg to listen to them, then we can do the same with the abbot. Master Andreas, do you think my family in Salzburg is all right? Uh... I don't know, Casper. We can find out. They're probably dead, though. All right. Enough is enough. We can't stand by while the abbot continues treating us poorly. Hey, welcome in. Welcome, raiders. Hey, Cassie. What's up, everyone? Welcome, welcome. You are in the middle of a, uh, a peasant revolution. Welcome. <laughs> Chase, are the peasants being unruly? They are indeed. They are indeed. Thank you so much for that raid. I hope the rest of your stream went well. I was lurking earlier. Let me do let me do a proper shout out here. Y'all. Definitely follow Cassie, but also Cassie's doing cool stuff on Crowdfunder. I'm just going to casually drop that in the chat, too. Uh, but I hope you had a wonderful stream. Thank you for that raid. Of course. Happy to support all the cool stuff you make. Look at all these moths. <laughs> Love it. So we are playing Pentiment. Uh, Raiders, welcome in. I'm Insight Checked. We play narrative video games on Thursdays. We are currently, so if you are ever going to touch this game, like avert your eyes, hide, we're in Act 2. So we just finished Act 1. I'm very proud of that because I really thought that I was going to be stuck in a loop of indecision forever, but we made a decision. A man died. That was my fault. Um... It's a great game. Enjoying it. It's very stressful. <laughs> um, in a low-key medieval Bavarian painting kind of way, but, you know. And then, yeah, TTRPG stuff. We're doing uh, First Friday tomorrow, so Dungeon Mr. Ty is going to take over the channel. And uh, we're going to be playing some New Avarden. So hang out for that tomorrow on Friday, the first Friday of February. So thanks for hanging out, y'all. Thank you, Raiders. Um, it should be a good time. It's going to be my first time playing New Varden, and 
I'm really looking forward to it. The the world, the lore that Ty created is really rich and awesome and very different from other fantasy stuff I've seen. So I'm I'm excited. And it's a D4 system too. So you gotta love those. <sighs> All right. So this is everyone's fair warning. We are about to get into some plot heavy peasant shit. Heads up. Martin. Enough is enough. We can't stand by while the abbot continues treating us poorly. People all over Swabia are taking back their God-given rights. Why shouldn't we do the same? A righteous cause. Martin's right. We can do this. We've got a revolution on our hands. Well spoken, Martin. Everyone ought to consider what he said. Martin has proved dependable for these last few years. I'm glad I didn't kill him. But if the words of men can't persuade you, perhaps a sign from a greater power will. <laughs> Chase. Oh no, the peasants are revolting more than usual. Oh, Cassie, thanks for leaving the lurk. Yes, go rest post-stream. Have a great night. Thank you so much for raiding in. <laughs> more than usual, yes. Truly. They were, they were pretty chill in the first act. The abbot may have locked us out of our saint's shrine, but God has shown me that he is with us. Okay, Otto, you okay? Go on. <laughs> it's just gonna like slowly put their arms down. I think that's all I should say for now. Thank you for coming. Just gonna drop some weird religious lore on you real quick and uh, yeah. we're good. We're good. Y'all, it is hard to do all the voices. I know I said that in the first stream. I stand by what I said. Thank you for that lurk, Arctic Knight. Ooh, a three on your stealth check, though. Uh, I might be searching that one. Y'all are not rolling great. Okay, I have no idea where you guys are, except for, uh, except for Arctic. I see you behind that box. Good day, Andreas. Thank you for the lurk. Hello, Clara. How are you? Hello, Andreas. I'm surprised to see you after your long absence from Tassing. At this rate, we thought we'd never see you again. Has gone too long. I'm sorry for not sending word of my arrival. You certainly did pick an odd time to visit, during the revolution and all. We're in the middle of a strange season. Ah, you found the Gertners. Your speech was very rousing, Otto. I swear they get better each time. Are you looking for trouble, Otto? Is it because I took you grave digging that one time? Of course not, but I understand what might happen if the abbot doesn't listen to reason. Even so, the people here can't go on like this. Something has to change. I'm just concerned for what might happen here, that's all. It's appreciated, but we know the risks. Ooh, we've got a few points here. Understood why many people hate the abbot. Stood your ground when Methow approached the grave, which apparently seven years ago is still relevant. Otto, did you really see a sign from God? Is that true? It is, Andreas, I swear. Come talk to me later. I'll tell you about what I can, all right? Anyway, Andreas, you and yours should come by house. Come by house. <laughs> Come by house, Andreas. Eat food. Good. <laughs> Legion. By the way, I love the beanie. I too am a beanie connoisseur. Oh, good. I am excited about that beanie love. Yes. It randomly became like a signature thing for the stream, especially in the winter months, but I don't know. I even wore it in the summer and people were like, why are you wearing a hat? <laughs> it's very hot. 
Uh, yeah, I love it. I don't know. It's just a very cozy vibe. Eat food good? We'd be delighted to have you. Sound good to you, Caspar? I'm going to give you a little agency. Yes, Master Andreas, I'm starving. Table's a little sparse lately, but we'll be sure to feed you well. Thank you. We'll see you there. Man, I can't believe I spent all of Nons just listening to a uh, peasant revolt. Okay, so clearly I could go to the Gertners, or I could talk to everyone I see in town. Andreas, you're back in Tassing. Just for a few days, I wanted to pay my respects to Brother Piero. Oh yes, Brother Piero, what a talent with color. Oh yeah, he, yeah, I, uh -huh. he was great. I'm sorry, Andreas. He was a sweet old man. I talked to him sometimes on my breaks up at the Abbey. Andreas, you really have changed a lot. You seem much older. I'm surprised Prior Ferenc didn't give you an earful. Well, he did before uh, the uh, unpleasantness. I'm sure you know it shook up things at the Abbey for a while. Brother Guy made it clear I wasn't welcome at Kearsaw when I arrived, so yes. For what it's worth, you're still welcome in Tassing. Anyway. Matthau's prior now. Still strict, but a bit quieter about it. Matthau has always struck me as quite pious. True. You wouldn't think... Pletty? Piety could be uncommon in an abbey, but with Father Garneau... Oh? Are you in with the peasants, Andres? Well, of course. Garneau has been hu hunting them, running them to the ground. <laughs> On top of that, we can't even use the forest anymore. Any of us used to be able to go fishing in there, not anymore. How far are you going to take this? Well, I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm not leading the thing. But I trust an Otto and the peasants, too. Be careful, Andreas. I will. Thank you. All right, Andreas. Time for me to get back to work. It was good seeing you. Until later. Man, wasn't I supposed to be Andreas' wingman? I don't think that worked out too well. Bakery? Is the baker's wife still at the hots for me? What's up, Gret? God bless you, Andreas. I'm thankful you returned to Tassing after so long. We prayed so fondly for you after you left. That's very kind of you. Although I hear Tassing needs more prayer than ever right now. Ah, that's right. You were at Otto's speech earlier. Yes, Tassing's peasants are struggling, and now even we townsfolk are pinched by the abbot's new restrictions. I worry about my husband. He's getting too involved with the whole business. You disagree with Ulrich? I, yes, I do. I love my husband, but sometimes I worry that he focuses too intently on the details. He does not see that he may be both prudent and Christian. I pray that I am not acting selfishly, but the abbot's taxes have affected us too. What about Anna's future? Ulrich has been offering credit f for two Peter? For two? Two Peter for years, which I've accepted, but now... We can only bake so much bread a week before we go hungry ourselves. Can you talk to him, Andreas? Man, I'm always getting chores in this town. Ooh, of course, Gret, but I can't promise I'll change his mind. God bless you, Andreas. That's all I ask. See you later, Anna. Don't care. Bye. All right, y'all. It's getting to be about that time. So 
We'll do a little bit of wrap up, but I don't think we'll go to the meal tonight, mostly because it's hard to do all the voices. Um, let's see if we can't find something else interesting, though. Lucky! Andreas back in Tassing, I see. Uh, came to, you know, Piero. He's dead. Yep. Your friend didn't mind him. Was a proper Christian. He was a kind man. God rest his soul. Hope uh, God gives us some peace too. Troubled times. I assume you're also referring to auto speech. We're going to hear from everybody on that. Won't end well. Life's getting harder for everyone, but if this shit goes on, there'll be backlash. A bloody one. Don't like the abbot coming for my fishing rights. <laughs> that will make do. Who's the they here? The peasants? These are both weird things to say. Um, they sure seem to complain a lot lately. We're craftsmen, Andreas. We work, we don't complain, it's not Christian. I suppose. How's your family doing during these troubling times? We're fine. Agnes is fine. Bea and Martin are fine. Martin's become far more responsible. A man... What? A uh, responsible man after his return. I just wish... Uh, <clears throat> Never mind. No, tell me. What's the goss? You wish... I wish Wolf hadn't died. Wolf. I know Wolf. Wolf is their kid? I mourn the boy all these years later. I hoped he'd take up my mantle. I wanted to pass on my knowledge and trade. Rest in peace, Wolf. Oh yeah, let me do the little... Oh, yes, yes, yes. The baby. Great. Awesome. Ugh, rest in peace, Wolf. May God keep his tiny soul safe. Perhaps Regita will have another while I live. She seemed happy enough with Martin. Love to hear the patter of small feet again. A boy to hold a chisel and mallet. Little stones, Mason. Making his grandfather proud. <laughs> he could become something other than a stone, Mason. I hope your wish comes true. God willing. Enough idling now. Got things to do until later, Andreas. By the way, I killed the Baron. Until then. <laughs> Legion Grey. Oh, Martin. <laughs> Legion, I had a cough for a couple months, so my voice is shot. Well, I can't do pentiment regularly, so doing all the voices is rough. Hell yeah. Well, normally we're joined by the lovely Mirad Ankh, who is helping us do voices. Um, she's taking a break tonight, but ooh, I am, I was grateful before, but I am newly grateful for all she has done to, like, increase the enjoyment of pentiment, um, and or the resting of the vocal cords. <laughs> hey, Agnes, what's up? Oh, Andreas, how good it is to see you again, and who's this? Hello, Agnes, this is my son. I mean, my assistant, Casper. Hello. What a hail? Hail? It's hail? Okay. Uh, what a hail looking boy. And you, Andreas, you look well. Why are you back in passing? Um, I came to pay res Brother Pierre's dad, so, you know. Oh, of course. I'm sure the brothers appreciated that. The last few years have been difficult for everyone. We've lost so many. Yeah, I heard Bert and Marie pass. Tragic. Yes, poor Klaus. I hope you've stopped in to talk to him. He sent you letters. Ah, yes. My mail. Anyway, I won't burden you with all of Tassing's troubles. It's been good to see you again, Andreas. Until later. Until then. All right, who was I supposed to convince? I was supposed to convince the baker's husband, the severe-looking dude. Where is he? Is he 
be around. Where would he be? Hey Zimmermans. What's up? Looking for the baker? Let's see if we can't find him. Oh, Hetty, you fooled me once. You're not fooling me again. Hey, Brigida, what's up? I saw the widow. Well, if she got kicked out of her house, where does she live now? Martin, Cat. Cat, you look well. Have y'all seen the baker? Am I supposed to meet him later? I feel like he should be here. Is he upstairs? Where is he? Look, I can't find him, Gret. Maybe he's at the mill? All right. Let's try one more place. Have you all seen the baker? Wow, I can go in their house? Oh, Paul, you're so old. Hello, Master Baylor. Hello, Paul. Meet Casper, my assistant. He's my new favorite young boy. Oh, uh, hello? Do you work with Master Baylor? Have you done real art? Uh, yeah, I guess. Been here doing sketches of Tassing while we're here. All art created from the artist's heart is real art, Paul. You don't need fancy paints or canvases to be an artist. You think so? Sure, sure. That sounds right. How's your art going? Shh. That where Dad can hear. Oh, right. Shit. How's the art going? I've been practicing a lot more. Klaus even showed me a big book full of prints. He said they used a technique called wood cutting. Have you ever done woodcutting, Master Baylor? No, I spent most of my time learning the finer techniques of oil painting. I wish Dad would change his mind about art. Maybe one day, Paul, you never know. I hope so. I should get back to helping my dad. See you later, Master Baylor. See you, Casper, who took my place. Until then. We got a pet Staub. Good boy. Good weird dog. Excellent. It's everything I remembered it from seven years ago. Hey, Leonard. Have you seen the baker? <sighs> Alright, this will probably be our last one because this guy's going to leave a bad taste in our mouths. Andreas, welcome back to Tassing. Leonard. You look well, not stuck with the curtains again looking like that, are you? No, I'm staying at the Golden Hand. Ah, good, good. That Hannah is a good woman. She runs the place well. And uh, far away from those tiresome old monks, too. Anyway, you should come by sometime. She'll have a lot to discuss. Good day, Andreas. Good day, you weirdo. All right, last one. We'll see how your wife's doing. What's up, Els? Okay. She's fine. Guys. We're in Act 2. We're in Act 2. It's amazing. This is like... We've got... We've got... 
people that we made empty promises to. We're going to eat dinner with people. The whole town is probably going to be killed in a bloody revolution. Not my fault. I didn't do that. That's Otto's fault. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to play this game next week on Thursday with you. So, so see you there. <laughs> oh, man. Is it, it's the late night head. It's like the broken brain of 10 p.m. It's like not even that bad. <laughs> Misha Gray, hashtag excited. Yes. Yes, all of that energy. Yeah, this is cool. It, it's completely different from what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be no time jump. I really did not see that coming. I thought we might shift locations, but I'm so glad that we didn't because we're really doubling down on the things we know about this place. And I love me a good time jump. That's awesome. Tay Swift, hello. Hope everything is good with you and you're having lots of fun. Thank you so much. I hope that you are having a great night as well. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah, we are wrapping up Pentiment. Um, what is shout outs and things? Okay, so tomorrow, I know I've mentioned, but tomorrow, come hang out again. We're going to be streaming, and hopefully I still have my voice. <laughs> but if I don't, that'll just become my character. Uh, but we'll be streaming first Friday, which is where a guest GM comes to take over the channel, and we play a TTRPG actual play. So we will be playing Newer Varden with Ty from Adventure Slang. It is a D4 system, uh, kind of a fantasy exploration world. Very cool, very unique. Um, I'm excited to try it out. On oh, no, day playing WoW, having a horrendous time, but thank you. Oh no. Legion pre-ordered the game months in advance. Great game, done with lots of love. Obsidian made Pentiment, and guess what? KOTOR 2! Wow! So, Roguelite it sounds like you need to be good at video games, though, to play it. Like, sounds like you might need some, like, hand-eye coordination and, like, time things well and, like, not run headfirst into danger repeatedly. Like, those are, like, things I cannot, I cannot guarantee <laughs> in my own gameplay. But I would love to watch it, for sure. Um, that's cool. Ooh, KOTOR's the RPG. Okay, okay. Then I can probably handle it. <laughs> that's more my speed. Yeah. That's neat. I will have to check out your VOD. Oh, and Kuladi is the roguelite. Yeah. That's the one that's, that's above me. Um, I really like narrative games and I want to try more RPG type games like Disco Elysium or I would argue like this one. Very cool. Well, thanks for stopping in Tay, even though WoW is, is horrendous for you right now. It's, I hope that that turns around. Uh, thank you all for hanging out. Thank you all for the raids. Awesome, awesome raids in tonight. Um, hopefully we can hang out again tomorrow with New Varden. And let's spread the love here. Let's see who we can raid. With the creaking of the windmill. Oh, also I have to fix my mic for tomorrow. That just bumped up on my to-do list. So, there's a few folks streaming right now. We could go see bees. I don't think we raided into bees ever. I don't know. I can't remember the last time bees was streaming when I was. Let's go do that. I don't know what this game is, but I'm sure it's interesting. So, thanks. Thank you all for hanging out. Um, we'll see you next week for more of Andreas. And I hope you all have a good night. And yeah, we'll see you soon. Stick around for the raid. Let's go spread the love.